everyone. How's it going? This is Face Cross, and we're back again with the Gun Breakdown series. This time, we're going to be mixing it up a little bit, carrying on the list, going with the Scar L. i got to say, this gun is pretty decent. Um, you can see my proficiencies at the beginning right now is kick. I don't have a whole lot of things in lock for this weapon, so I wasn't able to play around with a lot, but I can give you some advice um, as far as this gun goes and how to use it correctively, <laughs> correct and effectively, I guess, the best I can say. Um, don't take my advice word for word. You know, If you know something that does better, feel free to do that and kind of do your own thing. Um, I'm just here to try to give you my opinion on what works best and uh, maybe give you guys a little bit of an edge in surviving in some free-for-all gameplay. Um, you can see that I'm using the silencer. I gotta say, using the silencer on this weapon, you don't notice it at all. It seems to have a ridiculous amount of power. Uh, it's almost up there with the Type 95. Same with this FMG9. The FMG9 secondary that I'm using is also very strong as well. Um, I've been killed by that thing. Just I, I don't even want to go there. It's just uh, frustrating, almost. But as far as this gameplay goes, I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, carrying on with the series, it's going to be kind of fun. I get to go get away from what I usually do on my channel, which is quick scoping, sniping, and free for all stuff like that. I'm still going to be doing that on the side. I have montages coming out. I have episodes, things of that sort, and I also do, I am going to do some free for all sniping gameplay, commentaries, and things as well to carry on. Um, I just wanted to let everyone else know that has is new to my channel. Uh, I've been getting a lot more views lately since Modern Warfare 3 came out. I wanted to keep you guys informed with what I am doing and offer a little bit of more content as well. Um, I'm a well-rounded player. I can do multiple things. I cannot. It's not just sniping that I'm really interested in. But, you know, kind of beasting up in free-for-all is really one thing that I enjoy the most out of this game. And when you're playing on new maps, it's kind of hard to get into that groove of knowing what to do, knowing where to go, and how to play. Uh, let's get back to the Scar H, though. I kind of went way off topic, but I just want to go over a few things real quick. I am using uh, Sleight of Hand, and I'm using... Quick draw. Those perks, I want to say, are probably the most used perks in the game. Uh, you can't get away from them. You can probably swap out a few things here and there, but sleight of hand for me, it's kind of important. I like being able to reload quicker. Um, same quick draw is cool as well. You can throw stuns and you can re recover from that uh, more than you uh, would without it. Um, also, switching weapons, going to your secondary, something like that is important as well. It just kind of gives you an edge, but when everyone's using it, mm, there's not a whole lot of edge to be had. But in free for all, using that silencer and using certain kill streaks that can benefit you are key. Depending on the map, I would recommend different kill streaks. This map right now, I'm using the uh, UAV attack helicopter and the Pavlo. I gotta say, um, the Pavlo in free for all is absolutely just dominates. Uh, same thing in Modern Warfare 3. If you're going, if you're outside and there's a payable in there and it's an open map, you're gonna get killed by it. It's gonna get you maybe five to eight kills, um, and it's just gonna be nonstop and keep going and going. Um, something you guys should know and be informed about of Modern Warfare 3 is when you're using this kill streak setup that I have, the UAV attack helicopter and the payload. People rage quit. No, but that's not really where I was going with that. People like to. Um, either shoot it down halfway uh, between. And the thing about that is kind of good because if you get your attack helicopter and they shoot it down right away, you can call in that pave low and you don't have to wait. Um, having your attack helicopter hang around in the air for quite a while and then you're finally able to call in your pave low after what seems like it's been an eternity because um, attack helicopters in this game are pretty beast. Uh, they stay around for quite a while and they do some work. Uh, they are rather annoying when, uh, they, when you're on the receiving end of it. And just having it fly around for maybe about two minutes, and then you have to wait for your payload, uh, kind of cock blocks you a little bit, and it's kind of frustrating. But it works out depending on the map you're playing on. I want to say it, it's going to get you more kills, and it's mm, it's just something to keep in mind. If you're playing on a map that has a lot of cover and a lot of buildings, don't switch over to something like the Reaper or you know something like that. Um, airstrikes are kind of a one-shot thing. I wouldn't really recommend them. And as far as free for all goes, know your limit on kill streaks. You really got to pay attention to that. Like if you want to get an Osprey gun or whatever, I wouldn't really recommend it. You can try it, but if you can't get up to those kill streaks, I wouldn't recommend using those. Use something lower to build up to it. That's why I use the UAV. Work my way up from that, knowing where people are, and then work my way up to the attack helicopter and kind of go from there. Let that piggyback me up to my uh, payload. You can kind of do things like that with your kill streaks, and it's really going to benefit you in this game as well. Staying to the edges of the map, if you're uh, unfamiliar with them, even if you are familiar, don't go into the middle of the map because that's just going to 
puts you in a bad location as far as spawn points go. People are going to spawn in front of you, behind you, um, on top of you, everywhere. So staying on the edges, um, you pretty much know people are only going to spawn around that edge or you know to your left or right, which wh whichever way. Um, you won't get snuck up on. It's going to reduce your uh, reduce that quite a bit, and your frustration level is going to go down. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, as far as these gameplay series go, I want wanted to go down the list in order, but I noticed a lot of you recommended using the G36. So I'm kind of going to go with this. Every time I make a video, I'm going to look at it the next day, and I'm going to ask you which gun do you want to see, and I'll upload that one next. So, if you guys want, still want to see the G36, leave some comments down below, leave the feedbacks, uh, leave some feedback, excuse me, it's uh, 5 in the morning for me right now, so I'm a little tired and kind of a little wiry and can't think straight, but let me know what you want to see for the next Assault Rifle class weapon, and I'll be happy to bring it to you um, and give you guys my advice. Anyway, this is Cross, and I'll see you next time.